Hello, everyone. Welcome to Glory Talk. Today is June 4th, 2023. Welcome. All right, so uh, I've been led to get on here and talk to you guys. Uh, just start talking. This is what God wants me to do, so uh, I'm going to do that. Um, right now, I'm just going to... Um, let's, let's just pray into this and see what God wants to do with it. All right, so here we go. Father God... Father God, Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ, thank you. Thank you. You are worthy to be praised. Bless your holy name. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, thank you for your kingdom come. Thank you for everything that you're going to bring into our lives. Thank you for setting up this new kingdom. Thank you for setting up everything you're going to do with us. Lord, I just pray that we are right there where we're supposed to be. <laughs> and that we keep coming before you, seeking you, seeing what you want to say, and hear what you want to say, and you show us everything you want us to do. Lord, I pray that we open up all of our, our minds and hearts and, and our souls to just hear what you have to say to understand it and to have wisdom, understanding discernment of it, and to just come under your influence. Ah, come under your spirit, come under your way of thinking. Open up our minds and our hearts and our souls to what you want. We open up all those doors that you want, door. Yes, we open up the doors, Lord, from you, Jesus, Holy Spirit, and God the Father. And we close all the doors of all the demonic and evil and self and flesh and, and man and selfish ways in Jesus' name. And Lord, I just pray that all these things shall come to pass. All these things that you have written in your word shall come to pass. That we are right where we are supposed to be. Be right standing with you. Repentance lifestyle the whole way. And to just come into right alignment, right hearing right coming before you. To be obedient to you, to know you, and to serve you. And to follow you. For your kingdom and your power and your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. There you go. Uh, I felt led to pray that way today. All right. So uh, if you didn't know by now, I, I can hear God and uh, I get downloads from God. And um, right now he's telling me to just start a video. So I'm going to do that. And um, I'm going to start this video and just wing it with him because that's what he likes to do. He loves to use, you know, just his spirit to come in and take care of things. His spirit to come in to lead the way. And so the Holy Spirit's always there talking to you. Remember, the Holy Spirit's always there talking to you. Get to know how the Holy Spirit talks to you. He loves to mix it up. Just letting you know. He loves to mix it up. Keep going after the prize, which is Jesus Christ. Keep going after the seeking and the praising and the worshiping God. And get to know the way God talks to you. Get to know, get to know the way God wants to go and do things in your life. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. So really, I didn't, um, I, I have a whole bunch of words that I want to get out, but for some reason, I'm just being led to do this right now. Uh, I'm going to wait on the Holy Spirit just a little bit, kind of talk a little bit and see what he wants to do. Okay, Lord. And I'm hearing, um, I'm hearing thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. It is about the kingdom. And so... We need to know that we are in this kingdom that he's setting up on earth. And remember what it says in the Lord's Prayer, on earth as it is in heaven. He said, and he's confirmed it, that we are setting up the kingdom before we are taken out of here. So that is what we are looking forward to. Um, we are starting to understand more and more and more as we go through this whole transition of coming out of the old system and into the new. And uh, we are starting to understand more and more about how it's just not going to be the same. It's from one way to the next. And um, in order to understand that, 
you have to look at it from his point of view, from God's point of view. It's not about the way we think it's going to be. It's going to be the way he is going to have it be. And remember, um, <coughs> God, God has mentioned this to me several times now. He says, he says, um, yes, on earth as is it on earth as it is in heaven. And then he says, is it your way? Is it your will be done? Or is it my will be done? And I, I just kind of chuckle. And the first time I heard it was like, yeah, okay, Lord, I get it. And so the second time I've been hearing it, and the third time, fourth time, yeah, it's like, okay, we need to talk about that. We need to say, it's not our will. It's just not going to be our will. It's going to be his will be done. And um, the kingdom is coming. The kingdom is coming. I was going to mention that to you guys. Um, that was a very clear understanding one morning when I woke up. And he just said it one time. And um, I have it written down here the day he did that. Let's make sure I can get to it. Okay, so he mentioned that to me on April 10th, 2024. And so I've known about this for a while, but it was really interesting how when I was um, just seeking him that morning and the the phone, I went to the phone and um, it said 9-11, like emergency, 9-11, 9-11. And, um, and then all of a sudden he said, the kingdom is coming, the kingdom is coming, the kingdom is coming. And so I wrote that down. I just wanted to make sure I wrote that down. I just want to let you guys know the kingdom is coming. We are here. It's been a rough transition for a lot of us. And so, yeah, um, I'm just kind of, I'm just kind of going after what God's doing here. Um, is there anything else, Lord? I'm just going to be led by your will, led by what you want to say, led by what you want to talk about today. And there it is again. I keep hearing, on earth as it is in heaven. My kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Wow. That's how close we are. That's how we are going through this transition right now. And he's getting ready to implement this. He's getting ready to take care of this. I keep hearing this about a time and an event that's coming through. Where are we going to be from one way to the next? Um, I thought it was going to be more gradual and I think there's some things that are more gradual but I I'm pretty sure the way what's coming through is different there's an event coming there's something coming that's going to turn everything around and it's going to make the difference in the way things are going to happen in the world and um like he said he keeps saying to me it's not what we think it is it's not the way we think it is it's what he wants to do with it and he keeps saying that to me over and over and over it's it's just something that we haven't comprehended before. And um, yeah, that's what he keeps mentioning to me. Um, so I'm just letting you guys know this. Um, it's about the kingdom. It's about God's kingdom coming on earth, on earth as it is in heaven. He keeps mentioning that to me over and over and over. And um, I think we're really close. I think we're so close. And with all the world events that we, that we see at times, it's like, wow, we must be pretty close. Um, remember, we are going to be set up in this kingdom before we're even taken out of this earth. So he wants to display his glory. He wants to refine us with his holy fire, and he wants to display us with his glory to come down on us so we inhabit his glory. And that's what we're getting ready to do. This is what we're transitioning through. This is a very painful at times and very um, a shakening of everything to where it is going to be um, from one way to the next because we have to be prepared for it. And he's getting us ready. You know, um, get rid of your idols before you. I keep hearing that too. Anything that's an idol, he's just taking it out. He's gonna, it's going to be extreme. If you're still holding on to it, you're, you're just going to have to let go of it because he's just going to loosen it from your hands. He's going to take care of it. He's going to take it out of your hands. And um, he's been doing that with me. A few things that are still, uh, that I might have uh, put in front of him or, or, or more important than him. And he's been taking them out of my lives too. So I've been kind of surrendering all those little things that we still hold on to from the world, you know? And so I, I need to encourage you guys to let go of the things that are from the world. The world is such a trap. The world is um, not going to give you what you need. It has to come from him. It has to come from God the Father, Holy Spirit, and Jesus Christ. That's the, where it comes from. You have to rely on him. He's getting it to the point where we have to rely on him. 
And that's why this is all happening. It's been designed. It's been, it's been laid out. Um, it's not an accident. Amen. So anyway, uh, I'm going to uh, pray a little bit here, see what God wants to do, and then uh, we'll go from there. Lord, thank you for your wonderful, wonderful grace that you've given us so we can have grace and, and, and get through all these things that are happening in our lives. Lord, thank you for you reminding us it's not our will, but it's your will be done. Thank you for reminding us of us that. And I ask that you just take our hands off the things that we don't need and let them let go of those things so you can take them from us. And we give them to you, Lord. We, I ask that we willingly give you all those things that don't need to be in our lives. Willingly giving you all those things so we don't have to carry them around anymore because there's no need to carry them around anymore. He's refining us. And Lord, you're refining us. You're bringing us new life. You're bringing us into a place where we can't hold on to those things anymore. And... Um, to leave the world behind. I heard that. Thank you, Lord, to leave the world behind. So we have to be ready. And so, Lord, I pray that we are ready. I pray that we're coming into obedience with you. I pray that we surrender to you. I pray that we repent to you. Oh, and we repent, Lord, as a nation. We repent as the world and repent in our personal lives of what we've done from all the sins that we keep carrying around. And we take them back and, and the things that we keep doing and repeating we just repent, Lord, and repent and repent and repent. And we come before you and we believe in you and we rely on you and we follow you because that's what he said. That's right. Jesus, you said, follow me. So we're going to follow you. And Lord, I just come before you and I come before you that we know. We know that we're going to be all right. We know that we're putting our trust in you. We know that you are going to take care of all, and we know that in the long in the long run, you're going to make it totally worth it to stay believing in you, because we are being protected through this whole mess, and you keep telling us we're protected in this whole mess, while the enemy is going down, your people, your saints are being protected. In your Goshens, that's what I keep hearing, in our Goshens. So Lord, thank you for protecting us while all this is going on. And I just ask that you keep filling us up with your, with your love and your mercy and your kindness. And keep filling us up with your peace mm. and with your guidance and with your love. So we can stay right there and handle it all, handle everything. <laughs> handle everything with believing in you and staying in peace, staying in relationship with you and just staying there and believing in you. For your kingdom and your power and your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, so... I believe that's it. So I just was going to make this short little video with you guys um, and for you guys. And, you know, don't give up. Don't give up. We're right there. Things are going to start changing. I'm hearing in this month, it's going to be quite the month. This month's going to be quite the turnaround. This, this month is going to look crazy. And um, there's going to be a lot of, um, God keeps telling me there's going to be a lot of things that are going to happen. So the... evil will be exposed and then we will see his hand come in and take care of things. So while the evil is being exposed, we're going to see the glory of God show up. We're going to see God's mercy and love and kindness show up. And so there's going to be righteousness coming through. Amen. So until next time, you guys, I love you very much and I'll see you next time. And I love you guys very much and keep the faith, keep moving forward in Christ going after the race, which is winning victoriously with Jesus Christ inside of you.
because you have received a deposit the anointing, it is your greatest weapon against everything. So live victoriously in your life. Don't give up. Don't surrender and keep moving forward. In Jesus' name. So I'll see you later. Goodbye.